So what's up guys, it's Ash here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we do actually have some tactics and instructions for the 424 formation and there's a funny reason why I actually uh, started using this formation and if you've watched a lot of my videos you'll see this is the starting formation that I always use because it gives my players really good chemistry but um, I was meant to be using a different tactic in game uh, and I was playing really well and I realized at the end I was using the default tactics which I had here and I was like wow that was actually pretty good so I started looking into the 424 and tweaking around a few things things and found a tactic which I actually really like with this formation to be honest with you guys and uh, yeah I just thought it was pretty funny so uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video let's get into the tactics and the instructions and yeah enjoy. If you guys want coins for FC24 make sure you check out MMOEXP.com their link is down in the description they're very fast they're very cheap they're very reliable and if you use my code REMA you can get yourself a lovely 5% discount. Alrighty then guys so for the tactics I tried not to tweak too much because I was using the default settings as you know like I wasn't actually meant to be using the uh, tactics as such when I was using them so I tried not to change too much but this is what we've gone for pretty similar to other wide formations that I have used in the past. But yeah, defensive style, balanced, I prefer balanced because it does give you the best control over your defense. So when you want to be aggressive uh, and press, you can do that by yourself. And then if you want to drop off and then be a little bit more passive in your approach, you can also do that. So balanced is great in my opinion, guys. Uh, for the defensive width, I prefer a more narrow and compact defensive shape. I don't like my opponent having a lot of space through the middle. So a lower width is great for me as it blocks out all those areas in the middle and stops my opponent being able to just play right through me it is important to maintain a bit of the width though like you don't want to have this number too low because you still need to cover the wider areas in case your opponent goes down the wing which you know in fc24 they probably will do to be honest uh for the depth though we have this on 60 now i like 60 depth more than any depth in this game the reason being is it does give you a nice high defensive line but you don't have to utilize that automatic press which comes with 71 depth now if you like 71 depth and you like that automatic press from the ai that is absolutely fine go ahead you can use that no problem but you know if somebody like me that likes to manually defend as much as possible 60 depth is better because I feel like I have more control but just use whichever depth you are most comfortable with guys Moving on to the build-up play, I have this on balanced as always because it does give you the most controlled uh, and the most variety when you are building up the play. So the most varied build-up essentially. You can play slow when you want to and then you can also play quickly when you want to. So that is why it's so good and why I suggest balanced uh, for your build-up. Chance creation guys, you know the rules now. <laughs> does sound like Bevo. Uh, we have it on direct passing because yeah, it's the most meta option essentially. Um, you know, the basic gist of direct passing is your attackers will commit these runs that defender will follow that run and then your attack will track back after the defender's over committed so you can cut back to them so it's the best way to beat in park with us players uh your attackers also like back up against the defenders so you can isolate them in a 1v1 play so yeah direct passing very boring i'll be honest but uh very good nonetheless uh for the width guys uh with a wider formation you do obviously want to use a higher width than you would with a narrow formation i originally had this at 60 like i did with uh, the 442 but it felt a little bit too high so it might just be psychological but i lowered it by three and it seemed to work a lot better for me you know you can pretty much use whichever width you want however you don't have to use a specific number so don't feel like you have to uh for the players in the box we have this on five you know really balanced you get quite a few players into the box but you don't overcommit your entire team so that is great and then the corners and the free kicks you can just use whichever value you want there is not a specific thing that you have to use guys uh for the custom sorry for the <laughs> For the player instructions, guys, I'm losing it a bit here, I'll be honest. Um, for the player instructions on the two strikers, stay central and get in behind. Now, we want them on stay central, of course, because we don't want these players drifting out into the wider areas. We already have wingers in this formation, so you don't particularly need these strikers to go out there. You know, you want them to be in the middle. You want them to be relied upon, which is why I do suggest stay central. We also have them on get in behind because, like I said, a lot of people like to use those high defensive lines. They like to use that 71 depth, so your best chance at creating chances is using getting behind to you know obviously beat that press uh, and get your players in through on goal if you don't want to use getting behind on both players you can switch one to mixed attack or both of them completely up to you just find something that works for you 
Now for the right winger and the left winger, guys, we have them both on. Come back on defence, cut inside, get in behind, and then get into the box for cross as well. Now, come back on defence is very important in this formation. You don't have to utilise it in every formation on the wide players, but I think in this one you do, because if you look at the midfield where it's just two centre mids, if you don't have these players coming back, there is just way too much space out wide in the midfield for your opponent to exploit, and you don't want that. So come back on defence will make the left winger and right mid come back to defend as the left mid and the right mid to cover out those wider areas to not give your opponent as much space as they would if you didn't have them on the instructions. So very important. Cut inside is really useful because it means your players will start their runs out wide and then they will make the inverted transitional runs into the middle, which is a really good attacking AI movement that I like to utilise. That being said, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to use it, you can just pop them on balanced and that is also fine. So don't feel like you have to use specific things. I also have them on getting behind because like the strikers, I want them to utilize their pace to get in behind that defensive line and create as many chances as possible. Uh, I feel like your wingers can be, you know, fairly static if you don't have them on this instruction, but that might just be me. Uh, and yeah, getting to the box across is also great because it means these players don't hesitate to get in and around the penalty area to help you score more goals on balanced crossing runs. They're kind of like... Uh, oh what's the word like they're just very conservative they don't really help you out as much in my opinion and uh, yeah that's it for the wingers for the left center mid I like to go for like a more defensive minded midfielder so the two center mids I go for is one more defensive minded player this being Shuameni and then a more box to box player this being Gaioro brings the balance in the midfield which is what I try to do you know I think it's important that you do have that balance otherwise you might struggle you know so on the more defensive minded player we have uh, stay back while attacking and then cover at center we don't exactly want this player flying forward if he is defensive so stay back's great because it means you always have one mid midfielder that is in the midfield ready for you you know to defend essentially you know you don't want to overcommit everybody and then cover center because we do have the wingers coming back to cover the wings so we don't need this player to cover the wider areas we can have him covering the center primarily now for the right center mid the more box to box style player i just leave them on the default settings i don't touch them because you know you don't want to restrict them to specific things a box to box player has a bit more freedom you know you want them to defend you want them to attack you want them to do a bit of everything so i would suggest somebody with a high high work rate if you can get it so you get that maximum contribution in both the attack and the defense but yeah default settings because you don't really want to restrict them and then just cover center so like the left center mid they'll primarily cover that central area as opposed to the wings now for the fullbacks guys uh, on your more attacking minded fullback um you know it's completely up to you what you do with this so I suggest having at least one fullback on balanced but you might also want to pop him on overlap uh, but I just leave them on mixed attack now the reason I leave them on mixed attack is because you know these wingers they do sometimes find themselves in those wider positions even though they're on the cut inside instruction so you don't always want this player to overlap you know sometimes you might want them to go into the narrow areas when the wingers out wide and then other times if the wingers cut inside you want them to overlap so I think mixed attack is a bit more contextual and a bit more varied but you can pop them on overlap if you like just gives you more options having one attacking fullback like Kai Havertz for example for the other fullback the more defensive one of the two stay back while attacking so you have three defenders back at a time which will help you know minimize the chance that you get counter-attacked because you know you can always defend in at least the back three and then the uh, other fullback that's committed forward will come back to make it that back four so you know it's pretty useful stay back while attacking on this player the uh, two center backs I leave them alone and uh, the keeper I also leave leave them alone but yeah guys that is it for the custom tactics and the instructions for the 424 if you guys have found this video useful please be sure to drop it a thumbs up it does really really help me out also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and uh, yeah don't forget to turn on those notifications and i wish you guys the best of luck i hope you all have a great rest of your day and i will catch you as always in the next video take care guys peace out love you all